Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm PSV and today I'm going to be bringing you a first look video of the brand new Farming Simulator 2015. I'm going to be going through over briefly some of the new features within the game, so without further ado, let's get going. So here we are on the main menu page, this is what you get when you load up the game. We have many options here, so what we have, we have career, and within career we have 20 save slots, so you can save a lot of games, up to 20 save game saves that you can make so there's a hell of a lot of game saves that you can make so you can not just have one but obviously you can have loads and loads so we head back and the next one down is multiplayer Farming Simulator 2013 uh, was and 14 was multiplayer but the multiplayer within 15 has been upgraded a hell of a lot you can either join the game or create a game I'll be going into how multiplayer works in a separate video Next down we've got tutorials, there are many tutorials, there's 11, 12 sorry, tutorials within the farming simulator. If you do not have a clue or if this is your first simulator, I would really recommend how to play, or learn how to play the game by doing all 12 tutorials. They do take a little while, but you learn a hell of a lot from them. That's a new feature that they have added in to farming simulator. So download mods, you may know, Farm Simulator 2015 and 13 and 14 and so on. They have a massive modern community. Could even be bigger than Euro Truck Simulator community. If you play Euro Truck, you know that's got a humongous community. I think Farming Simulator is at the moment on the stats is just beating it with the modding. Obviously, there's not a great deal with Farming Simulator 15 mods due to it being a new release game. But I'm sure in the near future, there's going to be a hell of a lot coming out so you can click there and download mods or you can go it's probably easier to go through a separate website on your web browser and download them that way if you would like to know how to download mods please leave a comment down below and I will do that in a different video moving down we have our achievements so obviously this game is on Steam if you, you can get it off of Steam but I've got mine on Steam and here are 16 achievements that you can obviously achieve by playing the game obviously there's some easy ones and there's some minimum uh, some minimum easy ones and then to some maximum hard ones but that's the joy of the achievement you've got to try and achieve it within the game also here we just have the basic options and graphics and stuff like that pretty box standard and then we have credits and quit so that's what you get on the main menu so let's jump into the game and see what's different within Farm Simulator 2015 so here we are guys we're on Farm Simulator and today we're going to be ploughing this field. This is basically after, obviously after you've harvested the field, it has to be ploughed again. Um, but we're cultivating it. This is cultivating, ploughs a different equipment, but it basically does do the same thing. So as you can see, the textures of the fields after they've been ploughed, compared to many other farming simulators, they are massively improved. So the sounds of the tractors and equipment itself, as you can see, like obviously all the dust coming off of the uh, cultivator there, what makes it even more of a great realistic game. So we here we have it's a sowing machine. So basically, this is just a seeder. So this is planting seeds within this field. Again, it's using the same sort of tractor. Again, we've got all the dust coming off of the uh, sower. What makes it a hell of a lot more realistic. So, as you can see, the difference between what ones have got the seeds already in, or what ones have been sowed, and to what ones have been ploughed. You can see that, a big difference. Also, if you look at the tractor, if you can see where the exhaust is, you can actually see like, heat waves coming out of it. 
see that, that is a brand new epic feature that they've added in the game. As you can see the trees and the graphics have been improved massively. The graphics are absolutely beautiful. I'm going to be truthful guys, I have not maxed this out due to obviously the frames and that when you're recording. I have lowered the graphics settings quite a bit. But yeah, no, even on quite a low graphics settings, the graphics are absolutely beautiful, I think. So here we are, guys. We're in the shop, basically, where you can buy all your new equipment and vehicles and stuff like that. So basically, as you can see, we've got harvesters, tractors, front loaders, everything you're going to be needing for to get yourself started. New feature within Farming Simulator 2015. A truck you can get a man truck to be able to pull your uh, trailers and stuff it's quite a lot of money but yeah how awesome is that driving around it in a man truck it's like euro truck and farming sim mixed together now <laughs> so here we've got forestry equipment yes there was a mod for 2013 to do um, you'll be able to download a mod and do forestry but they've actually added it into 2015 obviously with a bit much more detailed than the mod had and look at all this equipment you can actually get this is all for your foresty obviously if you go back obviously you're going to have your chainsaw as well to cut down the trees or well, it's pretty epic as well so see we've got like a lot of stuff we've got cars we've got one car there we've got basically all the equipment you need to run your farm like a real farm shall we say over here we've got our placeables we've obviously got like our greenhouses a solar panel a windmill like an energy wind converter and then we've got our trees this is a new feature to 2015 is a jet wash you actually can clean your tractors when they are filthy dirty and i will show you that in the in this video so don't fear that will be in this video just hold on to your horses so yeah we're going to be showing you how you clean your tractors and stuff by using this jet wash so that's all the features really within the catalogue as you can see there's a hell of a lot of stuff within the catalogue if I go into my garage this is basically what we've got at the moment it's pretty all basic stuff so this is how you can go by selling stuff as well so that's the catalogue of the game. So yeah, if you want to uh, know how to just press P on your keyboard, it brings up your catalogue, and then that's where you buy all your equipment. So here we are guys, we're just approaching our silos. This is the silos within 2015. If you don't know what that is, it's basically where you store everything that you've harvested. It's like the storage for the place. And then, obviously if you want to go and sell it, you go and get it out of these silos and take it to the place where you want to sell it. So it's a bit different, the silo, how it works. You had to drive under individual silos for each crop that you've harvested. But on this one, they've added some cool, awesome feature. What I think is so much easier. You drive under there, you press R, and then you select what one that you really want to, what you want to go and sell. Instead of messing around, going around, trying to fit, make sure you've gone, gone under the right silo to get the right crop. So another new feature they have added, if you press 9 on your keyboard it enlarges the map. I think this is a great feature that they have added. You can also drive as well while the map's enlarged, obviously it, it restricts your vision. But no, how cool is that feature? If you can see on our map, we've got on field 29 and field 38, we've got that steering wheel. That is basically meaning we've got high drivers obviously ploughing or cultivating or harvesting or sowing whatever it may be that field it does cost you money so if you've not got a great amount of money I've only got 38,000 so I've still got to be careful then maybe you want to do it manually if you haven't got a great deal of money because they do cost quite a bit but if you have got that spare cash and you're thinking oh this is getting a bit tedious to be uh, keep constantly constantly harvesting it manually then you can hire drivers but obviously like I said there is a surprisingly cost to it so here we are guys at the pressure washer or jet washer whatever you would like to call it 
and we're going to be cleaning our tractor. So let's get going. So we're going to move over to here and start cleaning our tractor. Get rid of some of this horrible dirt. I have noticed, guys, if you clean one wheel, it cleans the whole thing, sort of thing. That's a bit unrealistic, I guess. But it's basically just trying to save you time. If you can see I'm cleaning this rear wheel and cleaning the front one as well, and it's the same the other side. But I guess that's good because it will save you a lot of time. Like just do that like so. And there's our nice cleaned tractor. And we'll put that back. And there's our nice spike, spikely, sparkly, clean tractor. So let's head head over to the chicken coop, and yeah, let's go and get some eggs. So here we are, guys, in the chicken coop with some cheeky little cock, <laughs> and we're just gonna walk around the edge. I always try to look around the edge as closely as possible. It's a bit stupid because surely the chickens could get out there, but yeah, they don't seem to. So they've only laid one egg. Oh no, two. There's one here. But yeah, what you do with eggs, you can obviously pick up your eggs and then you can go and sell them at a local store within the game. So yeah, guys, I'm sorry if I have rambled on a bit within this uh, first look video. But if you are into the world's best machinery, if you're into farming, if you're into growing cop cocks and crops <laughs> it's because I see the cock do do over there and uh, <laughs> if you're into growing crops <laughs> and this is the game for you so this will be my first look within Farming Simulator 2015 I'm considering starting a series within this if you do, would like to see a series leave a comment down below and please ensure to give this video a rating and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video Happy farming.